Coming up in today's video, I show you one of the easiest ways to paint oak leaf camouflage. This process is something that any level of painter can adopt and will make your figure really stand out. I've painted Waffen SS camouflage in 20mm, but this is my first attempt at it in 28mm. Let me know in the comments what you think of it and if you'd like to see more of these types of tutorials in 28mm. All right guys, so today we're looking at 28 mil miniatures. This one's from Warlord Games, specifically their winter Wehrmacht Germans. Obviously this chap isn't Wehrmacht for me, he's SS. So I'm gonna need camo schemes to paint his jacket. So I'm gonna go with the oak leaf camo. I'm gonna be using both autumn as spring as shown in this picture here. Now what paint sets am I using? I'm using AK Interactive oak leaf paint sets. I'm using both variants of the oak leaf sets for this um, i'm sure there's other manufacturer sets out there if you're so inclined but this set really works well and if you're new to the channel uh, i've done a series on ss camo schemes uh, in 20 mil form Okay, so let's get into it. So I start off by giving my model a primer. Uh, I'm priming it in a gray color. That lighter color is just gonna help the paints pop a little bit more. And then I'm putting a base coat down of his trousers of Wuffman Brown Gray. So this is for the oak leaf in autumn look. And as you can see, I'm just coating the entire paint on. I'm not trying to um, water it down or anything. I'm just putting it straight on there. I'm getting the initial base color of this camo scheme as shown in the picture here. So it's quite of like a really light brown. So you don't have to use these AK paints if you don't want to or if they're not available in your, the area in which you live. Um, but they are a really good set. You can also get the paints individually which might be beneficial because I don't use all the paints in this set. Now for the black parts of this camo scheme, I'm using Grim Brown. Um, and as you can see, I'm sort of dotting it on. I'm using a finer brush here, but be aware this might damage your brush over time. So I start with the darker colors. Some people start with the lighter. I just find starting with the darker just works a lot better for me. And I'm just putting it in different areas, not all joined together in one big blob. Um, if you use Google Images as reference, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But basically, there's going to be areas of the trousers that's going to have that initial base color. Um, and then there's going to be areas that are covered in this oak leaf camo. So make sure you're trying to capture that and just take your time here. But the whole process of this really took 20 minutes to do his trousers. That's the whole paint scheme as well, guys. So it's really quite quick. Once I've done that, I want to then put some lighter brown in the blobs that I've painted with the dark brown. So I'm using Waffen Brown here and I'm not painting the entire dark brown blob. I'm putting this brown, this lighter brown within that dark brown, but um, separating it. So maybe about 50% of the paint I'm putting in and I'm just dotting it around. So it's not just again, one big blob of this medium brown it's separated nicely as shown in the picture that just pops up before you can also put this outside of the black or the dark brown spots that we've just put down um, but just don't go too crazy it's very easy to get carried away it's also very easy to not do enough the good thing about not doing enough is you can always come back and add more now for the part that's really going to pop and make the camo look a lot more authentic we're going with light brown now this part of the camo is the time consuming part because i'm putting down little dots and as you can see here this is in real time i'm just dotting away um, and trying to join some of those dots so you get that bridging effect you get little bits here and there but you've also got bits of that medium brown bits of that dark brown all intertwined and then i'm leaving quite a bit of that waffen brown so the initial base color um, in in chunkier areas so hopefully uh, with this angle 
you can see it a bit better I've got little bits of that light brown in some parts away from like the big blobs of dark brown and then where there's those big blobs of dark brown um, I'm obviously adding a lot more of this light brown I've got to stop saying blobs it's, it's driving me nuts but yeah so that's that's it essentially it that's how easy it can actually be now i know you might think oh it's not easy but it is so now we've done the oak leaf for autumn now it's time to move on to the spring so we're starting off with mud brown again this is from the ak uh, set but this is their spring variant of the set so we're going with mud brown to give our initial base color now if you want to skip on this step feel free to uh, it's basically just going to be a repeat of what we've just done but if you want to watch how I do it and see how it comes out by all means please stick around because uh, it'll be hopefully quite enjoyable so now we've got that jacket painted we now want to move on to those dark green spots this time so exactly the same process as before I'm dotting this dark green around obviously I'm going between his ammo pouches here and I'm just trying to sort of have those big areas and those smaller areas I would advise you not to paint any of the equipment at this stage because you're going to be going over belts you're going to be going over different parts of the jacket uh, the hood for example so if you start painting any equipment or start going and painting all this other different stuff you might find it difficult to try and keep it looking decent in terms of keeping it all looking symmetrical Now we're moving on to the lighter green. So for this, I'm using Waffen Green and I'm dotting about 50 to 75% of that dark green. And I'm using the same process as before. And I'm just dotting it around and um, making sure I don't go over the green. I want that green to sort of stick out a bit more, that dark green, sorry. But also I'm gonna put little bits of that lighter green just outside of those bigger green spots um, again just to break it up a little bit and just to make it look uh, a little bit more authentic now we're trying to make it pop here we're trying to make it look like the oak leaf pattern but don't go too crazy if you're thinking it's not 100% um, it's to your taste all right and finally for those real bright green spots I'm using golden olive and I'm just following the same principle. So this whole tutorial is just the same thing rehashed with different colors. So now we're going on with the dark, sorry, with the light green, and we're just putting it here and there, having some bigger areas, having some smaller areas. Now you might be looking at this going, wow, this is really bright. It looks like a neon green. It is quite a green, uh, bright green. We're going to put a wash on so the last stage of this tutorial is to put a wash on and once that wash is on you will then get um, a filtered down version of this uniform and it will tone the uniform right down and it will look spot on And the final step is to put a wash on. So I use Umbar wash. It's probably one of my favorite washes to use. And I water it down at a one-to-one -one ratio for this one. Umbar wash is normally quite dark and it dries very dark. So if you water that down at a one-to-one -one ratio, it's going to act as a very light wash, almost on the border of a, a glaze. So it's going to look really good. And then there we go. So that uniform hasn't been highlighted. Uh, it hasn't been dry brushed with any other colors. That's exactly how it came out without me altering it. Obviously, I've painted everything else around it. Um, but in terms of the, the jacket and the trousers, that's it. Done. I added white to the hood because it's a reversible jacket. Uh, but yeah, that's it. 
Now, I have actually recorded the whole process of painting this model, so if that's something you want to see, let me know. Um, I wasn't sure if it was something I should really put out because I know there's a lot of other uh, YouTube channels that do bolt action figures where you've probably already seen how to paint German equipment. But if you want to see how I painted this guy from start to finish, let me know and I will produce a bigger video explaining that. But as I said, this technique is actually really straightforward. Um, you don't have to be a fantastic painter to get this effect looking really good and in a really quick and simple fashion. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you're not, thank you very much for supporting the channel. Uh, your support really does go a long way to growing the channel and it is growing at a rapid pace. So I can only thank you guys for that. But anyway, I've rambled on enough. I've spoken about oak leaf enough and spots and blobs and all of that good stuff. I will leave it there and I will catch you guys at the next one.